Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we are going to paint this backpack. Uh, this is a 511 Rush 12 backpack, had for a couple years, really like it. Uh, however, I bought it in black several years ago. And when I bought it in black, I bought it because, you know, you buy everything in black, right? That's kind of, if you're a tactical guy, all your stuff ends up being black. But here's the thing about black. Uh, <clears throat> at night, it actually sticks out. I know that's very counterintuitive, but this was driven home to me when I was at a night course. And I was wearing a black jacket uh, just because I was cold, and uh, we were out in the desert. And they, they did a demonstration. It was, it was dark out. Uh, the stars were out. And uh, the moon was, it wasn't a full moon by any stretch. It was maybe like a quarter, maybe a half, something like that. And they had me and uh, another guy who was in uh, camo, like multicam, stand out about, I don't know, 20, 30 yards away. And I was easily visible in my black coat. And the gentleman in multicam couldn't see him. It was really hard. And that has to do with the way that your eyes see hue in different colors. Uh, science and shit, right? So anyways, uh, I want to paint this. One reason for that. And the second reason is that, you know, black doesn't stick out or doesn't blend well in like a wooded environment or anything like that either. So I'm going to try to paint this pack. Now, I've never painted anything nylon before. I've painted a gun before, but I haven't painted anything nylon. So I'm assuming it's going to soak up a lot of paint. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to tape off the Velcro fields, because I do want to maintain those. I'd like to, I'd like to keep those. And I might put just a thin line of tape here on this top zipper, um, and maybe this zipper right here. The rest of it I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave the uh, rain flaps over the zipper, let them do their job, and uh, that should protect those just fine. So we're going to paint this. We'll be kind of an experiment to see how it turns out, and uh, if it's bother, if it's something you should even bother considering doing or not on your backpack. Because I'm guessing you probably have a couple black backpacks, and maybe you want to paint them to actually be able to use them. So let's uh, paint it. Let's see how it turns out, and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're going to go with the backpack here. We're going to start with a green. So, green didn't really seem to do much on this thing. So, I'm going to try a, uh, what is this even thing? Some kind of light tan deal, it's basically the color of this cap. And we'll see if that takes the color a little bit better. I seem to have better luck with this on the plate carrier, which is also black nylon. So hopefully uh, the tan will take a lot better to this backpack than the green did. Because the green basically did nothing so far. You can't really tell much. I don't have that much left in this can. I think I'm just gonna use the rest of what's in here. Uh, this is not turning out how I originally envisioned, but I'll be honest, I kinda like it. It's kinda turning into this dirt, ugly, hideous color that doesn't look good at all. However, I think will blend very well in a wooded environment. So I'm gonna finish off what I have left in this can, and then I'll let it dry probably overnight here, and then I'll try to hit it with some green tomorrow, and we'll see how that turns out. That's it. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, so I let it dry overnight here, and we kind of got this dirty tan thing going on. 
So I'm out of tan and I'm not going to go buy more. So I have some green left. So I'm going to try to give it some streaking here and we'll just kind of see how that turns out and probably just going to roll with that. Right now it's kind of this ugly like dirt color, like if you were to bury it in uh, the dirt for like some dirt sand for like a month or two and then come back. That's kind of the color it would have. Like it's really dirty. So I'm just going to give it some green streaks and then we'll let it dry and we'll see how that turns out because I think that's going to be about it. Okay, we'll let that dry, see what happens. So, here it is, here's the final product. Uh, kind of looks like dirt, I can bury it in the backyard for a week. When I showed it to my wife, she told me that I ruined a perfectly nice backpack. So, take that for what you want it. Um, I think overall it's gonna blend pretty well. And because I use the same colors and kind of the same streaking, uh, I do end up having a matching set with my plate carrier so that's kind of fun but uh, overall so point being uh, what I've learned from this experiment is one nylon soaks up a ton of uh, paint <laughs> so you need you need a lot of paint uh, I did preserve the velcro fields which maybe I shouldn't have maybe that's gonna stick out too much and maybe in a bit I'll, I'll end up painting those down but I did want to still be able to put patches there uh, mostly for identification purposes and to mark this bag, you know, for what it's for. Uh, I didn't really spend a lot of time putting it on the back, but I did want to try to get the, the shoulder pads a bit and, and the buckles and stuff like that. So, uh, we'll see. I'll use it, I'll run it for a bit and see how it turns out, but this is the final product. So if you have black nylon out there and you decided uh, you don't want to use the, the black and you want to have it actually usable for camouflaging purposes. Uh, all it takes is a couple cans of Rust-Oleum camouflage spray paint and you can have a nice dirt backpack just like me. So this was an experiment to kind of see how it would go. Overall I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results of it. Um, I do think it's gonna blend a lot better. It'll blend a lot better than black and it'll stick out uh, much less, it'll be much less noticeable, which which I'm happy for, in, in wooded environments, which here in Minnesota is about mm, four to six months out of the year, kind of depending. So that's a big deal. Um, other all, it does look dirty. Uh, that's the downside, but what can you do about that? So that is my DIY camouflage job. I'll let the results speak for themselves. I won't sit here and rant at you. Do brave deeds and endure. <laughs>